Hey, boys and girls, Outdoors Jeff here. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while. We're a little bored sitting here in uh, home confinement these days. Uh, not home confinement, you gotta be careful how you phrase that. Uh, <laughs> well, stay at home order, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, watching out for coronavirus, that's all. Um, so, a little update on the pepper plants here. Uh, well, Spring has decided to uh, butt bang us dry up here in the northeast. Uh, <laughs> and if you live up this way or anywhere north of there, you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, here we are, May uh, May 10th and the 10th or 9th, I don't know. I lose track of the days here. Um, we're at like low 40s for a high. Northern end of the state had snow. Uh, it is just ridiculous. People's crops should be in the ground by now, and, and th this is just ridiculous. So I had a bunch of pepper plants. Uh, weren't doing so well. They were getting uh, they're getting root bound, probably a little too heavy on the fertilizer, keeping them going in here over you know over the winter. And uh, what started happening, you know, it's certain things like here, uh, you know, we, we see some yellow spots on the leaves here. This was one of the issues. Yeah, we started getting like on this jalapeno. Uh, other issues like you know, here's a uh, here's another jalapeno. Uh, you see the curling leaves. Um, was not a moisture issue. It wasn't a light issue, and it was getting fertilizer, so it had to be too much fertilizer, possibly causing them to curl. And we had other things going on, like some brown spots and whatnot, and different plants. Uh, leaf dropping and and things of the like so what we did was we took uh, a bunch of one gallon pots today and uh, I was able to fit 18 of them in this grow tent here so we loaded this up with 18 pots I took the best of my best plants um, my uh, black pearls still look phenomenal I, I love those plants they, they, they look great no issues at all with them um, took some of the alligator jigsaws, uh, looking really good. Carolina Reaper looking really good. And we took that, and it's, it's, it's pretty much turned into a, uh, uh, rescue mission at this point. <laughs> I don't, you know, some of them weren't looking so hot. Like this, uh, we got a Thunder Mountain Longhorn here. You can see we're getting some yellow leaves on that. It's pretty scraggly looking. That's a scraggly plant anyway, but it's not supposed to have yellow leaves. Uh, same thing, we got some cherry peppers back there with some really, really light colored leaves. So I'm hoping they come around now. Uh, fresh soil, organic soil, no no fertilizer. Uh, we're still running the lights up here. Got two lights going. Temp's been good, humidity's good. Well, it's been open for like a couple hours now while I'm working on this, so humidity level's down. But all the rest of the plants that were in here, uh, they're all heading toward the front window, and uh, good luck to them. That's it. I saved the best of the best, and this is this is my last ditch effort here before this weather breaks. Hopefully, this is really getting aggravating now. Um, but we got some good plants in here. I can't complain. Anyway, that's it, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, you know, if you're doing the same thing, you're growing indoors and it, it's, stuff's getting too big, and just don't panic. It, it's it's all savable. Even if you got to trim them back. These have all been trimmed too, pretty much. So uh, there's not, uh, there wasn't a lot left to do besides transplant at this point. Um, that's it. All right, thanks for watching, boys and girls. Uh, good luck to anybody gardening. And if you live up this way, keep the faith. It's going to warm up. It's, it's, a, it's a cold spring, and let's hope a couple of weeks out from now, it's, we're rocking some 70s, and we warm that ground up and get our stuff out there. All righty. Thanks for watching, folks.